Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Alyssa. I'm Garrett. And we are the Leffersons. Today we have a Pride Month pin tag for you. I know it's not Pride Month anymore, it is now July, but we were a little last minute on this and we didn't have time and I feel like we should celebrate Pride Month all year long, every month of the year. So we're gonna continue this. If anyone would like to continue to do this Pride Month pin tag, go for it. We will tag some people at the end of this video. Let's just call it a Pride tag. A Pride tag. <laughs> Instead of Pride Month. This Pride Month pin tag was created by the Daunties and Walt Life Salt Life. I will link them both down below. You should definitely go check them both out. They're both amazing Disney channels. And we were tagged by the Game Boys, Tim and Johnny. And hi guys, we're finally doing it. <laughs> they tagged us when we were in New Orleans. And so life just kind of got in the way and here we are like a week and a half later, finally filming it. Yay! The point of the Pride Month pin tag is to find pins that represent each color of the rainbow. We're just gonna get right on into it. And we're gonna start with red. The red stripe on the pride flag represents life. Show a red pin or a pin that represents life. You've talked a lot already, so I'll okay. start. <laughs> so looking at our pin collection, uh, the first one that kind of jumped out to me was this pin of Dumbo and Mrs. Jumbo. Which is not red. <laughs> it doesn't have to be red, it's about life. It, what does it represent for life? Because she brought Dumbo into a nurturing home that loves. I like it. And it's the first one that kind of jumps to mind with like uh, the beginning of life okay. in the Disney movies. So I get it, I like it. It may not be red, but. <laughs> I did choose a red one, I chose this pin, the Soren Sky Gliders, and this is from like a, I think the Attractions Mystery Pin Pack. And I chose this pin A because it's red, and B, this represents the ride, which is Soren around the world, and I feel the most alive when I'm traveling around the world. So I love traveling so much, and traveling is a huge part of our lives. And so I wanted to do this one, and it's red. It works. Next one is the orange stripe of the rainbow flag. It represents healing. Show an orange pin or a pin that represents healing. My pin's not orange. <laughs> of course it's not. I don't think he picked any pins that went with the actual well, one. color. <laughs> one. But it's about healing. Of course I picked Baymax and has a little dangle here that says, would you like a hug? There's nothing better after a hard day and you need to feel better than a hug. Yeah. So it always helps to heal and uh, working with kids all day, sometimes all that they little people need is a little hug. Yeah. And that just makes their day a lot better. And Baymax is just a healer. And Baymax, general. yeah. I he's mean, just... he's, a gen he's a personal health companion. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, I went with an orange pin that represents healing for me as well. <laughs> and it's actually the Leaning Tower of Chiza. And you're probably wondering why I picked this pin. This is from the pin flare pack, the Goofy Movie pin flare pack. Comment down below or like this video if you love the Goofy Movie because I am obsessed with the Goofy Movie. I feel like it is so underrated. I picked this pin because food heals me. <laughs> I, when I'm having a bad day, food makes yeah. me feel better. Yeah. Sometimes you need to eat your feelings, all right? I wouldn't really go for like this type of cheese, but like some Wisconsin cheese or like some cheese curds or like bread or pasta. Any type of food will definitely heal me in like five minutes. So that's why I chose this pen. <laughs> I even feel a little bit. Okay, next one is the yellow stripe of the rainbow flag represents sunlight. Show a yellow pin or a pin that represents sunlight. Now this is, this does has the colors. This yeah, it does. This does has the colors on it. <laughs> and this actually- I can't talk. This actually has the color, but it's, this is from the Delicious, Delicious Jinx Mystery Pack. It's the Citrus Swirl and it's just, it's just sunshine in a can form. It has orange bird on there. And I just love the design of this can. That's just sunlight in a can. I chose, this actually doesn't have a lot of yellow on it, but it is Piglet. It says time flies when you're having fun. And the only yellow thing on this is the balloon. I just chose this because 
it just reminds me of sunlight. It looks like a beautiful day outside and whenever I think of sunlight, I also think of summer. And when I think of summer, I think of time flying because we are educators and we're off work and so time does fly in the summer. That's kind of like a really when I think of Stretched. summer, <laughs> when I think of summer, I think of bees that buzz. <laughs> yeah, Kissable, a little dandelion fuzz. And I'll be doing whatever snow does in summer. Yeah, it's technically supposed to represent sunlight. I just thought this was a cute pin, and I like the little yellow balloon there. And of course, piglet is my life, so. Of course. <laughs> All right, next pin is green, which represents nature. Well, you took the one that I wanted originally. <laughs> so okay, I'm so sorry. I chose. My favorite, one of my favorite series is the handbag series and Tinkerbell's little handbag. And Tinkerbell, you know, she's a fairy. Fairies are nature nymphs. It's green, I guess. <laughs> it worked. It, it worked. But no, I always think of Tinkerbell living in like the little tree house with yeah. Peter Pan. And yeah. it just reminds me of nature and just how the Lost Boys lived out in nature. Well, and all and, of, isn't it like all of the fairies live in like flowers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, fairies, fairies are fairies are nature nymphs. Like right, they're right, right. So that makes sense. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I chose the pen that Garrett wanted to use, and it is the. This is a limited release, and this is the 20th anniversary Animal Kingdom pen. I chose this pen because whenever I think of nature in Disney, I automatically think of Animal Kingdom. You feel surrounded in nature when you're in Animal it's Kingdom. Very green. Literally, it's very green. They very much like to conserve, and they're all about the conservation funds and things like that. And that's just it. Just Reminds me of nature. I don't know. <laughs> Animal Kingdom just Keepers reminds me of, of nature. Land. So, and of course it's green and it's a little dangle one. It says Disney's Animal Kingdom there and you've got Mickey and Minnie and their little explorer, African explorers, and they're just loving life. Next is blue, which represents magic. So obviously all of Disney's magic. Yes. I mean, that's just, so I, I kind of thought about what. You could really go anywhere. I could. <laughs> and so I kind of thought about like which of the first Disney movies did really, uh, which one of the first Disney movies really made me feel like that magic? And I had to go with Aladdin. Aladdin was a big part of me growing up, but you know, with the genie and the carpet and- The magic carpet. The magic carpet. <laughs> and we had just seen the new Aladdin. Yeah. So I- a, a Which little, was really, really good, by solid. the way. Comment down below what you thought about the new live action Aladdin. We really enjoyed it. But it kind of renewed my love of the whole magic thing. And uh, I had to go with Aladdin. That's a good one. I originally had one and then I got this the other day and this is really what I was like looking for in our collection and I, we, I feel like we don't have any pins like this. This is total magic for me. It is Cinderella's castle and Tinkerbell is there and it is an element pin. It slides and there's firework. It basically represents every firework show that Magic Kingdom puts on and when I think of magic, I think of the castle and fireworks and Main Street. That is just like ultimate magic for me. So of course I had to choose this pin. And I actually just got this pin from Lacey, Lacey's latest. I'll link her down below and I will put our unboxing. We did a pin swap box with her. I will put that unboxing up right there for you to watch. It was an amazing box. Literally the best box we've ever good. opened ever. So yeah, magic. All right, next one is Serenity, which is violet, represents Serenity. Violet. This took me a hot minute to kind of <laughs> Think this about. one was hard. It was hard. I don't know. It's gonna there's gonna be a little bit deep on it. So <laughs> it's gonna get deep here. We'll, we'll start with what the pin is. Um, it's Eeyore and Pooh. It says big hearts deserve big hugs. And I went with this because to me serenity is being accepted for who you are and being in a safe place and uh, knowing that everyone around you loves you. And this is perfect because Eeyore, to anybody on the outside, is just a donkey that complains and he's always kind of blue and mm -hmm. thanks for noticing. <laughs> but everybody still accepts Eeyore for who he is and loves him no matter what and invites him on, in on all the adventures that they go and do. The Hundred Acre Wood is a community that really accepts him for who he is, even if he is a little blue and somber. 
and uh, I think that's perfect for Serenity. Oh, honey, how cute. Okay, I kind of went a different direction. Mine's purple. <laughs> well, mine is purple, but it, it does remind me of Serenity. I chose Rapunzel, and it is, it does have a really beautiful purple background. Not just choose it because it's purple. I chose it because I feel like this is when Rapunzel felt the most Serenity, when she was doing the things that she loved. She's reading, she's painting, she's kind of doing all the things that she enjoyed growing up. I know that she lived in a tower and was kind of a prisoner, but <laughs> these were the things that she really enjoyed and made her feel serene, made her feel peaceful. So that's why I chose this pen, and of course, like I just love Rapunzel and it's a beautiful pen. Is that a fantasy? No, it's not a fantasy. Oh. It's just an open edition. It's from 2017. Oh. I ordered it on eBay, I don't know. Few months ago. Bye -bye. Love it. All right, our last one is a rainbow pin and that rainbow. represents Pride Month. Yay! And I went super basic. <laughs> super basic. And I did the rainbow Mickey. I mean, there's no other way. It's a great pin, though. It is a great pin, and we have a lot of friends uh, that represent the LGBTQ plus community. Yes. And uh, we And we all... love you all so much. Oh, and yeah. love is love and As long as you're happy and you treat each other well, I mean, what is there? And I think this also represents the fact that Disney accepts you for who you are too. And I mean now they're starting to do the whole Pride Month days and stuff at the beginning of June. We Disney just call it is. Gay Day. So, gay Day, yeah. <laughs> I don't <laughs> but know. Everyone is becoming more accepting more and more. And so that's just wonderful that Disney is now putting out so many rainbow merch. I'm loving all the rainbow merch. I really want the merch. rainbow ears. Merch. Merch. Merchandise. Merchandise. Sorry. Merchandise. The WDW Aristocrats hate the word merch. merch. I'm sorry, guys. Merch. Merchandise. The pin that I chose, well, I wanted to choose that one, but then I just decided to choose another one that had a lot of color in it. And I chose this one that is the Toy Story Land pin and it's got Woody on there and Jesse and Rex and little green alien and what's the penguin's name? Weezy. Weezy. And Weezy right there. And this is just a really colorful pin. And I feel like this is also kind of going along with um, what Garrett was talking about with Winnie the Pooh is that, you know, they're all a big family and they all accept each other for who they are, even though they're all completely different toys. But it was just also very colorful and has all the colors of the rainbow and thought it represented Pride Month very well. You are a toy! <laughs> we are going to see Toy Story. Oh yeah, we are. We're going right, right after now. <laughs> this. I know, we're finally doing it. It's been out for like Almost two weeks now, but it's been we're, a crazy few weeks, so we're finally doing it. We're so, gonna do an afternoon matinee, and there's gonna be no one else in the I know, theater. It's like and a, I can. It's a Tuesday. It's I'm perfect. gonna sob openly. It's gonna be loud, snotty sobbing. I want you guys when when this is up, we will have already seen it. So I want you guys to comment down below also what you thought about Toy Story 4. Tell us everything. We want to hear your thoughts about it as well. I've read nothing on it. I Neither have I. I mean, I've only heard that you're going to cry at the end of it, and that I've, it was really, really good. I've heard some hints of what it is. And I've heard that Forky is adorable. All right, that is it. I guess it's time to tag some people. <laughs> we are going to tag two different people. We are going to tag Lacey over at Lacey's Latest. <laughs> She's always scared to do these pin tags because she feels like she doesn't have enough pins, but I feel like this pin tag can you can really do anything with. Yeah. So you go, girl. Do this pin tag for us. And we also want to tag Kate, Princess Minnie. I feel like you, you have a huge pin collection, so we would love to see what type of pins you would do for this Pride Month pin tag. And we tag anyone else, too, who still wants to continue this Pride Month pin tag. I know it's July. It's just, a, it's just like, a pride pin tag at this point. Yeah, I mean, I feel like... Show your support. Pride Month should be every single month. It Really, in this day and age, we should be accepting of everyone. Love is love, and that's it. So, anyone else that wants to do this, you go, Glenn Coco. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite pin was, and also comment down below what your thoughts are were on Toy Story. Subscribe to our channel for more Disney content. We have a 500 subscriber giveaway coming up, even though we're now we're, coming up to 600, so we're really behind We're waiting here. for it to come from where it's coming from. It's coming from around the world, so 
Stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm not going to give it up. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> You're not going to give it up? No, we I, have to give it up. I hate giving away, doing giveaways because I just want to We hate it. giving away things that we, we want. want. <laughs> it's so hard. But you guys deserve it. We love reading the comments that you guys say to it's us. Still, it's still surreal that, yeah. It's amazing. We Thank love you the YouTube community. Thank you guys so much for supporting us in this. We have so much fun making videos and getting mm -hmm. to know all of you guys. And it's just, it's just been so great. It's just been wonderful. It's been quite so, an adventure. Thank you guys again so much for watching and we'll see you real soon. Bye. See ya.